Today I am marching in a parade again. It is the 4th of July. God bless America. to Lindenville, but I had no idea how big this parade is. It's pretty awesome. Bye, boys. Bye, boys. Bye. Bye. Okay, now we gotta catch up. We're good to go. beautiful day it's been today. I wanted to talk a little bit about the 4th of July. Um, it is a day that I always love. It's a day that I always think is really cool for the community. It's something where everybody kind of just gets along, has barbecues, goes to parades, has a lot of fun. And it's something that I as a dad am starting to relive a whole bunch of childhood memories. I, again, just like parades, I used to love the 4th of July for the fireworks, except that I was actually really afraid of fireworks. I would wear earmuffs uh, because the fireworks were just too loud. And it was something I was really embarrassed about as a kid. And a lot of times as a dad, you sort of relive your embarrassments through your kids and you try to protect them uh, the best that you can so that they don't feel embarrassed. So I actually have earmuffs for the boys for fireworks and the truth is they didn't need them. It was really kind of cool. I was proud of them, but I also wouldn't have, fe I wouldn't have felt like ashamed or anything if they were scared. Um, but I just, I don't know, kids are resilient, they're brave, and I just think that that's kind of cool. So we actually went to two fireworks shows. Usually we stay here because even in our, uh, our housing track, there is a neighbor that lets off fireworks that are usually pretty cool. And the boys being as small as they are, we usually just hide in the car to kind of help them with the noise a little bit and just watch it out the, the car windows. But this year we decided to go to actual uh, fireworks that we had to drive to. And we went to two. We went to the Brockport fireworks, which were great. We were a little bit far away and I wanted to try something. We've got a wedding coming up where there is going to be fireworks and I wanted to try some different settings with my camera. And so I tried the Sony time lapse app and exposed, I think at two seconds, exposure two second exposure and it's you know fireworks kind of are a little bit random so the timing of it wasn't great but it turned out to be pretty cool I just wish I was a little bit closer for it but the color was awesome the one thing that I made a huge mistake on is that in the settings the pictures that were being taken through the time-lapse because that's how it works were JPEGs and not shot shot in raw and so the quality wasn't the best. I made that change, obviously. Um, but that's why I like to test these things out. Then we also went to the Grease fireworks, which were unbelievable. They were some of the best fireworks that I've seen. And it was in the town of Greece. That's pretty awesome. Props to them. Kudos to them for putting on such a cool show. And also, there was a member of the Monkees that was there playing music.
It was also great to be there with my parents, who obviously as a kid took me to fireworks, but to have them there with us and our kids was really kind of cool. They love their Nana and Papa, and it was just nice for them to be there. What was really crazy is that uh, because this event was so big in the town of Greece, they had these shuttle buses, and the police escort that was given to the shuttle bus was awesome at the end of the night, even though we didn't really get out of there till about 11.30 uh, or midnight. But we were going down the median of the roads like we were the president of the United States, and it was crazy. And I was sitting like in that seat uh, where the two buses kind of join and it's got that accordion center and half the bus would turn and I was in the seat that just kind of swiveled and Luca thought it was the funniest thing in the world. These are the types of things that I feel like I need to do a better job holding on to. I feel like life is such a fast-paced uh, event for me right now that I still have a hard time just settling down and enjoying the moment. But this is one that I'm pretty sure that I will just remember for how fun and how cool it was and for how much the boys enjoyed it. Okay, well, that's it for today, and I'll talk to you again later.